Romeo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what was that all about? I just gave young Mr. Reed a job at Spalding. Really? Doing what? Whatever he ends up being good at, which could be quite a number of things. He's a very bright young man. Ben was telling me he had such fond memories of when he lived here. Back when we were a family. We're still a family. Uh-huh. And family means everything to you, doesn't it, Alan? You know it does. Mm -hmm. Then why are you stabbing your eldest son in the back and depriving him of what's rightfully his? I'm not depriving Philip of anything, Alexander. Really? Well, my darling. Father's last will and testament says otherwise. How did you get a hold of this? Oh, Alan, the will is a public document. You have one a copy of it in your own files. Why would you unearth something like this now? Because... Because... Look, I came back here because I thought you were dying. I thought it was apropos to get certain documents in order. Ah, that's my sister always looking out for her own enrichment. Yeah, so we can debate my motives all you want, dear, but it's actually right here in black and white. And this document states that at a certain age, your firstborn shall assume significant authority at Spalding Enterprises. Philip's birthday came and went without you ever informing. I am well aware of what this document says. And in case you haven't noticed, Philip has plenty of authority at Spalding Enterprises. Well, not all he's entitled to. Are you aware that this was written when Philip was a child? Our father had no idea if he would want to assume such power or would be capable of handling it. Well, are you saying he's not? I am saying that it is not our father's call to make, it is mine. No, actually, Alan, it's mine since I am currently CEO. You know, Alexandra, I don't get you. Why would you want to open a can of worms like this? Our father played us like puppets when we were children. He manipulated us and controlled us. And now then, after we're finally free of him, you want to concede him power even from the grave. All right, Alan, just stop rationalizing. You had a legal responsibility to inform Philip of this clause. Well, no, I didn't. If Philip wants a copy of that, all he has to do is go down to town hall and get it himself. I have no legal obligation of telling him what is in that document. Oh, come on, now you are just splitting hairs. Just believe this. Philip has plenty of authority at Spalding Enterprises. Yes, and more than you'd like him to have at home. Leave it alone. I'm not sure I can do that, Alan. You can and you will. Because if Philip claims what is rightfully his, he will return the favor by putting us both out to pasture. Alan, you're good. You're very good. You've been pulling out the brotherly loyalty card right now. We're in this together, kid. You know you keep your mouth shut, or Philip will put us both out to pasture. It's not the truth, Alexandra. Why do you look so worried? The truth is, you didn't withhold this out of any concern for the company or for me. You did it out of fear, pure and simple. Fear? Yes. Your jealousy, your competitiveness, and whatever this thing is you have with Philip that never allows you to let your guard down completely around him. Now, now you have the right to even suspect his loyalty again. Because he, what, possibly run off with your wife? He's done no such thing. Uh, this even brings up another question. The stakes are even higher, aren't they now, dear? With Philip having more authority at Spalding, that makes him even more attractive to Olivia, which will make it even harder for you to gain her back. No. Oh, no, you certainly do not want this piece of paper out in the open. You're right about one thing. I'm very competitive, but not only with Philip. I'm competitive with everything. Now, if Philip wants more power at Spalding, let him go out and grab it the same way you did. Mm, mm, mm. Now it's mutual loyalty, mutual respect again. Oh. Mm. No, that's the mutual mind-your-own-business card. Why do you insist on borrowing trouble? Let it be, Alexandra. Alan, it just may not be my call to make. You've said that before. I have no idea of what you're talking about. Well, just this. You know that the truth has a very strange way of always coming out. In the ways you, you least expect it, okay? So I'm just saying that when the proverbial horse manure hits the fan, don't say I didn't warn you. No 
Well, and is today's mail in yet? Yes, it is, sir. <laughs> Anything from Mrs. Spaulding? Is that too difficult to question for you? There is nothing from your wife, Mr. Spaulding. What's that? It is an overnight envelope addressed to Mr. Philip. Mm-hmm. Notice it doesn't have a return address on it. Why, hello, Grandfather. Isn't it a beautiful day? Well, it is a beautiful day now every time I get to see you. And those days may be fewer and farther between before long. Oh, yes, I remember. Boarding school. Now, oh. Beth is taking Lizzie up to see Alston this afternoon, Alan. Mm. Lizzie, are you sure you want to do this? I want to go to boarding school, Grandpa, hmm. next term. I mean, Dad's all for it, so is Mom. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, first thing Philip and I have agreed on in months. But it was Lizzie's idea, so don't try to stop her. Mm, I would never do anything to cross this young lady. <laughs> you know, I have an idea. While you're on that uh, scouting expedition, why don't you take Philip? Mm. Now, there's an interesting idea. So what's the catch? There is no catch. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Even I know there's always a catch with <laughs> Lillian, would you care to jump in since everyone else is ganging up on me? Never gang up on you. I'm always on your side. I'm sitting it out. All right. Well, I was just suggesting that it would be a great idea <clears throat> while Lizzie is visiting Alston to have her mother and her father along. Well, he is the one who's going to be paying the bills. Exactly. Now, I think it's a marvelous school, and I will miss you very much. But I can already see your parents walking around the campus with you. I must say, Alan, you're taking this very well. Well, Lizzie is a true Spaulding. She knows her mind, and she's taken action. And I am not going to discourage her. Tell me, have you already packed? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> true Rainses would be packed. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. You're pushing for Philip to take this trip because you want us back together again, and this is your way of trying to make that happen. Beth, you know your Spaldings. Well, I should, after all these years. Well, you should, but in this case, you're wrong. You know that I would want nothing more than you and Philip to get back together. But to be honest with you, I've been so busy with my own affairs that I haven't had time to play Cupid. And what affair has you this eager to have Philip go with Lizzie and me to Alston? My family's happiness. More specifically, Lizzie. I mean, did you see her face when she came in here? She was so excited about starting to make her own decisions and set the course for her life. She is a force to be reckoned with. Yes. And you know, she's had quite a tough year. I mean, with you and Philip breaking up, the Lorelei diaries, shock <laughs> after shock. She's still a child in many ways, but she has shown amazing resiliency. I just think it would be wonderful if you and Philip were both by her side when she took that first step out of childhood. Mm, yeah, and off into the unknown. Yes. <laughs> Well, we've all had to do it. And it'd be great to have the support of your parents there. God knows she has plenty of support. She's very special to you, isn't she? Absolutely. <laughs> and you really want Philip out of town, don't you? I'm right again. Having Philip leave town must be very important for you to actually be honest about it. Well, the thing I'm trying to do is simply save my marriage. And if Philip were gone a day or two? That would help. I don't think it's a secret that he and Olivia have an attraction for one another. Where is Olivia, anyway? Haven't seen her around lately. Well, she's out of town. She had a few things she needed to think about. Things? It's gotten that bad between the two of you, has it? Yes. 
point is, if she decides to return, Beth, I will have an opportunity to co to reconnect with her without any distractions or interruptions. From <laughs> without any fill-up. Exactly. Look, I will be able to convince her that our marriage can get through this and we will be happier than we've ever been before. And all before Philip comes home. This is no joking matter, Beth. You seem awfully sure Olivia will return while Philip's gone. Call it a hunch. You've got this whole plan worked out, don't you, Alan? Ugh. When will you ever learn? I can tell you disapprove. Well, it's just that it's doomed to fail. Alan, you can't hold on to a woman by scheming and manipulating. I am not manipulating and scheming. I love this woman. I am fighting for her. <laughs>